Hello guys, in this video we will work on file-based routing. We will create pages on the front end using React Router the same way Next.js application has it. Before doing it, let's take a closer look at the front end code. Right here in our applications, front end, we have a .turbo folder, there's really nothing in it except for logs. Dist folder, that's where the app is getting compiled to. Node modules, uh, public folder has favicon. Uh, let's skip src folder for now. eslint, rc file, so it extends eslint custom, and we already looked at it in our previous video, and this is right here, it's in the packages, eslint config custom in index.js. index.html is an html file, so we can just put here react express tsconfig file, it also extends tsconfig with json, and it's again in the packages in tsconfig with right over here. And then we also have a vid config. Package.json is a specific package.json file for our front end. It has commands and dependencies. And the most interesting dependency here is a UI workspace colon star. This dependency is imported from packages UI. And if we take a look in src folder at app.tsx file, we can see we import components from that UI workspace as if it was a regular package. Also app.tsx has our TSX application with a counter. There are index CSS and app CSS that hold CSS. The main TSX file has the create root function that we worked on during last video. Let's start working on the file based routing and we need to add routes the tsx file to src folder. And also we need to import react router dump. In order to do that we will put the following pnpm add react router dump and we want to add it to front end workspace so we need to use the filter flag. Alright, everything is installed and routes.tsx file is where the magic happens. Comment gives us context on what's going on and uh, input in a uh, routes function is pages that are getting imported from import meta glob eager and glob eager is actually deprecated so we're going to be using eager true parameter. Output is routes from React Router with routes for each file and pages. Function routes itself is pretty easy and small. And the use routes function does some mapping and replacing using regex. And at the end, we have a path and the component. And path is the key, and component is actually value. After that, we just put them as the routes, and when the route path is not found, for example, if component is not found for the path, we display a not found component. Let's go ahead and create pages folder in src folder and not found page. Uh, we put the following code in here and the idea is for the page is to import a corresponding component from the components folder. So let's go ahead and create the components folder and then not found component. I'm going to create a folder for our component. And then two files in it, index.tsx and not 
found the TSX. Index TSX will import whatever is in not found. Now let's put some code in not found. And let's go ahead and import React in here as well. Let's create one more page called Dashboard. The same idea here is to import Dashboard component from Components. Okay, in the index we're going to import everything from the dashboard. And in a dashboard that CSX, we're going to put just fairly uh, simple code as well. Except for we're going to import the link from the React Router DOM, and we'll do a link component, and we'll go and redirect it to the index page, which we're going to create right now. In the index page, we're going to import a landing component from components. Let's go ahead and create it. In a landing.tsx file, we're going to import or copy paste actually everything that we have in app.tsx file. And let's rename app to landing. And right over here as well. Also, we can move app.css file into the landing component folder, and we can also rename it to landing.css, and then here we'll fix the import to say landing.css. Also, we would want to create a link to our dashboard here. Let's put a link component from the React Router DOM to dashboard. We're going to do go to dashboard page. And the final step is to update the app.tsx file. Just remove everything that it has in here and put the following code. Uh, we're importing browser router and the routes. We get the pages and we use import matter glob because glob eager is deprecated, so we're just putting eager true parameter in here and then we just display our routes. Let's go ahead and run pnpm dev. All right, and now we can go to localhost 3001 to check our application. Let's go to localhost 3001 to check our application. It is working, the counter is working, and our routing is working as well. So we can go and put some kind of ABCD page, and it routes us to the not found page. Let's cancel out from here and run pnpm lint and uh, pnpm test to make sure everything is good. And we can git add and commit our code uh, as file base routing. And as usual, the link to this code will be in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.